Okay, here we are, module number five. Yeah, module number four was pretty long, but there was a lot of information there. Right? And it's going to take you a while to get all that down. And um, believe me, like I said, stuff's not easy, but you got to be committed. If you can commit to yourself, even if it's a half hour a day, you know, half hour in the morning, a few minutes at night just to run through it, the more committed you are to something, the more results are you going to get. Right? It's not like setting New Year's resolutions and, you know, whatever you come up with it and then you just never do it, right? Um, like the gyms. I know, I mean, I've been doing, I've been, geez, I've been a gym rat since I'm 15 years old. And what I always notice is January, it gets busy. And I get to the, it gets to the point where I got a little annoyed because I'm like, these people are going to be leaving and they're taking up my machine. Now I got to wait for them to do it. You know, and then by mid-February, that's it. It's done. Why? They didn't have anything like this. They didn't have a program. They weren't structured. That's why. That's what we're going to fix. That's what we're fixing right now. So, module number five in Strive for Five is the five-minute journaling. Again, inspired by Tim Ferriss. And I love that book. I'll say it again. Tips of the Titans. It's a long book, man. It's like 700 pages. But you only have to read a few of them at a time, you know, and, and take what you want and take what you don't. It's kind of like the Bible. Now, you read through the Bible. I mean, I've dissected that thing over the years. But you take what's good for you and you leave the rest. You know, you hear all kinds of people, oh, the Bible is nothing. It's made by men. Yeah, but there's still good stuff in there, you know. Um, take what works for you. Take what's going to make you a better person. Because that's what life's all about, right? It's about becoming a better human being, better man, better woman, or whatever. And the Bible will help you get there. The Bible is probably the biggest personal development book you could possibly ever get. And I'll tell you what, everybody that you listen to on YouTube has gone through that and taken things out of there. Because when you read them and you go, wait a second, I just heard that from XYZ, that's where it came from, right? So, yeah, I got a little subtract there. So, anyways, five minute journal, inspired by Tim Ferriss. So, now, what we're going to do is we got five questions. Five questions. And I'll make sure I do a better job spelling. Five questions. You think being a doctor for 34 years I would spell right? No, I can spell medical words. I can't spell regular words, <laughs> believe it or not. All right, so we have AM questions and we have PM questions. Number one, first question. I am grateful for, right? I am grateful for. If the first thing you do in the morning is tell yourself what you're grateful for, and that was the only thing you did, I bet it would change your day, even a little bit, right? Even for the littlest things, right? So we're going to try to hit three different things for each one of these five questions. Now, you might be busy in a day, or some things come up, life, you know, shit happens. Right? But if you can just hit one question on each of these five things, you're going to have a better day, guarantee you. And if you hit all three, it, 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 it'll, be it'll be big, huge, huge. And, you know, being grateful, and, and, and I'm going to paraphrase, but in the scriptures, if you're not grateful for what you have, you're not getting anything else that's any better. You know, I have friends of mine that just tell me all the time, that a man's car show, a man's vehicle shouldn't be this clean. It's like, yeah, well, for me, if I don't take care of it, I'm not getting another one. You know, I'm not getting a better one. Even when I drove around in a $300 peak crap, I washed that sucker every week and I made sure it was clean to the best of that ability, whatever it was because I knew if I took care of it, the Lord would take care of me, right? So, I'm not going to write anything down here, but, you know, there's three things. That could be anything that you could be grateful for. Um, hey, I, I'm grateful for, like, I drink, I drink tea once in a while. Uh, I'm grateful for this, this tea. I mean, I've got strawberry tea, and it was freaking awesome. Little thing. You know, and then you can have big things. You know, well, what are you grateful? Well, I'm for, for, again. This is for me. I'm grateful for my wife. My wife saved my life in more ways than one. 
literally saved my life, though, I'm talking about. Back in September of 16, I almost died from septic. I got this staph infection somehow, and it was shutting down every organ in my body. All right? And my infectious disease doctor told my wife, her name is Michelle, by the way. Love you, honey, in case you ever watch this. Um, <laughs> she made me go to the hospital. I thought I had the flu. I didn't want to go. You know, I'm a guy. I'm an idiot. What the hell do I know? You know, I can take care of it, right? You know, for a man, you know, you, you, you got your ego all up in arms. It's when, you know, when you're sick and you're like, I can get through this. I'll get through this. She took me to the hospital. And they took my blood. And I remember sitting in the waiting room. I said, hon, you going to come get me tonight? Come bring me home tonight? She looked at me dead in the eye. And she's like, you ain't getting out of here tonight. And about 10 minutes later, the nurses came through with a wheelchair, stuck me in the wheelchair. Before I even got out of the wheelchair, I had IVs in my arm. I had three saline solution IVs and two antibiotic solutions. So I had five bags pumped into me before I even got inside. All right, they took me to ICU. There was no place, so I stayed out in the hallway. My infectious disease doctor told my wife, actually, she wasn't my wife then, she was my girlfriend, but she told, he told her that if you didn't bring him in here, he'd be dead in two days. Every organ in my body was shutting down, everything. I ended up with endocarditis, which is a heart inflammation. I ended up with non-fatty alcoholic liver. My, fat, my, body, my, uh, my liver had all these spots and, and, uh, and stuff on it that wasn't working. I had sludge in my gallbladder. I was losing my kidneys. I thought for sure I was going to lose my left kidney. Um, my, my bladder, my gallbladder, my regular bladder, my prostate, everything. And, uh, and he, too, he said, too, I mean, if God, for God, God willing that he was in such great shape because he would have been dead already. So she took me there. If she didn't take me there, I wouldn't be here talking to you people, right, and I'm trying to help you have a better life and a more balanced life. So that's in the, for me, that's a number one thing. I don't say it every day, but every day, everything should be, something should be different. You know, how about, um, I'm just grateful for my eyes, right? I'm grateful for my eyes, that I actually get up in the morning and I could see the beauty in my wife. I could see beauty in the world, all right? I have a fish tank sitting right there. You couldn't see it, but the fish are gorgeous, right? A lot of, some people don't have that, you know? Live with an attitude of gratitude. That gets your day going, right? Attitude of gratitude. Second question, what would make today great? I don't know. What would make today great? How about closing the deal, right? Whatever it is, you're in sales. You just want to close this deal that you've been working on for months. That could be something, right? That can make today great. I can close a deal. I can help somebody get what they want. I can earn some income and help, help provide for my family. You know? I don't know. What else can make today great? Uh, you know, I'm really tired today. You know, maybe I can actually take 15 minutes, 15 minutes, and just relax for a little bit. Take a deep breath. Actually, maybe even take a nap for 15 minutes. You know, that would make today great, right? You know, and whatever. But we're always going to strive for three things and everything. And the third AM question is really good, too. They're all good. Your, your daily, well, day, but affirmation. I really should spell better. Affirmations. Pick one, three, you know. And start with, I am. I am. I mean, there's a few times I put down, right? I'm a child of God. I mean, I am, and we all are. And for me, that's cool. If I'm a child of God, I'm from a child of the, of the highest king. Can you, can you imagine being a child of a king? Just, just in general. If you're a child of a king, how your life would be? Now imagine that you're a child of the most high king. You know, that's a great way to start your day. Well, my day, an affirmation, I am strong. I am wonderful. I am fit, right? 
How about if you're not fit, but you say it anyways? You know, portray yourself as you want to be, not as you are. Right? As you see a man how he is, and then see him again how, or she, how they can be, that's how you need to see it. Right? And, and always say things in the present. You know, don't say like, um, you know, well, I'm going to be, right? I'm going to lose 50 pounds, or I'm going to weigh 145, or I'm going to weigh, you know, I'm going to be 200 pounds of solid muscle. Now I'm going to be. Because then your mind is thinking that it's something that you have to achieve and you just never get there, right? It's like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. That's being lazy, right? I'll just do it tomorrow. But guess what? Tomorrow never comes. It never comes. Why? Because tomorrow, once you're in tomorrow, then there's another tomorrow. And your brain, okay, you're functioning, you're getting your brain to think that, you know, tomorrow's never going to come. You know, so you got to do it now. The world of tomorrow leads to the, is, is a road that leads you nowhere. All right, so do it now. And the way to get things done is by knowing your why. And I'm going to help you do that at the end here with the little bonus thing I got. So there is three affirmations. So this is the morning. These are your morning questions. Every morning you get those done. Now I'm just going to take these off the board quick. <laughs> Wrong side. And we're going to do the evening questions. And there's only two of those. So, number four, which is, the, these are PM questions. Amazing things that happened today. One, two, three. Amazing things happen today. So at night, you think about, well, what happened today that was amazing? Could be anything, could be little things, you know? But if you have a car that doesn't actually function as well as you'd like it to, and you had an amazing day, my car worked perfectly all day. To me, all right, well, that was amazing, right? Um, my kids got up for school, and I didn't have to yell at anybody, right? I didn't have to kick them in the butt to get them get going. They did it on their own. Amazing. And I was able to actually do meditation this morning for 20 minutes. The first time ever. Amazing. Little things. I really loved the way that, you know, fruit salad tasted or that salad tasted today. It was just amazing. You know, amazing thing that happened is, you know, my husband, you know, he actually thought about me all day and he called me twice and he texted me. And when I got home, I had a little something on the table for myself that he bought me, that he thought about me all day long. How amazing would that make you feel if you were a woman and your husband thought about you all day long? Amazing. And the fifth question is, I forgot. <laughs> How could I have made today better. How could I have made today better? Well, again, you have your own business. You're in sales. Everything is sales, by the way. Whether you have your own business or you're not, that's another thing I got from Grant Cardone, is it doesn't matter. You got to see, to have friends, you got to sell yourself, right? To get things, you got to sell yourself to get customers, to get patients, to get clients. You have to sell yourself, you have to sell your business, right? So let's say you did 20 calls and you didn't get anything, but you made the 20 calls, which is great, right? But it, what if you would have made 30? Do you think that would have, might have made, made the day better? Maybe you would have got a couple of extra sales in that day or sold a couple extra products that day. Um, <clears throat> that's one thing. And then another thing could be, how'd you make, you know, what else could I have done today? Well, maybe I should have, 
did that extra set when I, this morning when I was at the gym. Or maybe I should have ran those extra two minutes that I was, said I was going to do, but I didn't do. You know, again, made the day better. Or, you know, as a husband, what about, well, I made, what if you made dinner for your wife before she got home, if you get home before her? That would make the whole, that would, make a, that would go a long way, let me tell you something. So, things like that. But try to think of things different. Don't keep writing the same stuff over and over again. If you think about the mental, physical, spiritual, financial, and um, relationships, you think of that, then you can pick and choose different things from there. And you can plug them into this five-minute journaling thing that you're going to do every day. And I will tell you something else. There are times where I forget to do the, the nighttime thing. Either I'm out with somebody or friends or my wife or we're watching a movie and I just totally forget, right? And I go back in the morning and I try to do this. It's not the same. It's better than not doing it, but it's just not the same because you're not in that moment of the day before. So, there's five things. They're really easy. Get them done. This will change everything for you. This right here. Because you're living with an attitude of gratitude. You're figuring out what you could do to make things better. You're giving yourself affirmations so that you can drill into your head about who you really are or how you want to be. Right? Now you might be here and you want to get here, but when you're speaking to yourself, you got to speak from here. Right? So how would you want to do something? And right now you, know, you have no idea of how to do it. You don't think you can do it or whatever it is. Think of this, if you were the man or woman that you always wanted to be, right now, if you were that person right now, what would you do? Would you sit back and say, play the victim and I can't do anything? Or if you were that person, that man or woman that, you wanted, or that you're striving to be, but if you were them now, what would you do? Start thinking that way. Um, what the heck? Joe Rogan. I just started listening to him. Pretty cool. Somebody, the only reason why I started listening to him is somebody told me I looked like him. I didn't even know who he was. It's like, you look like Joe Rogan. I was like, okay, who's Joe Rogan? But he has something, it's a minute and 20 seconds. You can do, I mean, believe me, you got a minute and 20 seconds every day. He calls it, be the hero of your own, be the hero of your own movie, something like that. Be the hero of your own movie. It's a minute and 20 seconds. Listen to it every day. Change your life every day. So those are the five things. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to get to is closing the gap. Um, module six, I think. Uh, closing the gap. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. 